I just get everyone's hands up in the air again, just for an energizer, making sure everyone's still awake. Yay! And also so Mike can take some nice photos. <laughs> <laughs> and what do we want? Love it, Justin! When do we want it? Yeah. Great. So um, I'm just going to call you, you and are you speaking? Ewan from the Green Party is going to talk to us about um, what they're working on and, and how we can all get involved. Thank you. Thank you. So, uh, hello everyone. It was really good earlier to hear a message from Sadiq Khan's office with um, something vaguely optimistic that might be done by 2050. Now, Green Party policy... More into the mic. Uh, yeah. Green Party policy is zero carbon in the UK by 20... Green Party policy is zero carbon in the UK by 2030, because we can't afford to wait. Now, to get to zero carbon by 2030, which is how we'll get a vague chance of hitting the Paris Agreement of 1.5 degrees limit, we need to cut from currently over five tonnes of carbon per person in the UK a year to two tonnes by about 2025. To do that, we need all of our elected politicians working on that agenda today. Now, one of the most optimistic things to me about the Bonn climate talks last year, COP23, was turning up in Bonn and seeing the US mayors, the mayors of California, the mayors of New York, etc., tents on the entrance to the camp or to the conference saying, Donald Trump, Trump is irrelevant. We're going to do it ourselves. We need every town hall, every council office in the country working towards zero carbon by 2030 to hit that 1.5 degree target. That was Christine Lefigueri's vision for Paris, which was bottom-up pledges. We have a fantastic councillor in Yorkshire and Humber who's driving locally and regionally defined contributions through the European Commission for the region. So we need your help. We have 174 councillors. All of those are in town halls across the country saying, not just what are we doing to, by 2030, but what are we doing by next year? Because it was quite hot this summer. So what are you doing to prepare for the flooding that's going to come this winter? What are you preparing to do for next year's heat wave? We need you meeting your councillors out there saying, what are your plans? We have Sean Berry and Caroline Russell saying that to Sadiq. We need you writing to your MPs, arranging to meet your MPs because it's not going to come without all of our pressure. Now, a hundred years ago, w women got the vote. Some women, in 2018, that was through the suffragette movement. The suffragette movement wasn't a popular movement. They were seen as anti-establishment. They even burnt down some houses. They burnt down some houses near me. If you want to come to another event, this Wednesday, the Lancashire Nanas, Yay! who are a group of women defending our country from fracking, are coming to Westminster to meet MPs to say, what are you doing to stop fracking? So if you want to come along and stand with the Lancashire Nanas, come to Parliament. Parliament Square on Wednesday, wear suffragette colours, arrange to meet your MP, get them to come out and say, what are they doing? We all need to be working on this together to stand any chance of hitting the Paris outlet. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ewan. Um, that concludes our list of speakers. Um, thank you to all of them for coming and giving their time and, and standing up here and taking a stand on behalf of us as well and um, all the work that we're doing. There's a lot of resources out there. There's so much information. There's so much that we can actually do. We've heard, um, uh, we've heard about some of the things that we can do today about challenging our economic model, about um, climate litigation, about standing up and, and challenging your MPs. Um, I have a leaflet here with 
with a whole bunch of stuff and 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 a, and a code that you can scan to links where um, there's you know all these actions that that you can take um, after this because this is but a snapshot. This is but a milestone. We're just here today. The climate action continues. We must not stop. We cannot stop. We cannot rest. We must keep going. There's a long way to go. Some of us and you know some of us might not see any of the benefits in our lifetimes, but we don't do this for our lifetimes. We do this for the future of our planet. We do this for the future of our future generations. Um, the climate, there was a sign here that says, what was it? That Earth will not, humans will not survive climate change, but, but the, the planet will be fine without us. So um, this is why I stand. This is why I rise. This is why we are here. Um, my story of how we got here, I'm a climate reality leader. We are a community of 15, oh, I can hear some, woohoo, the climate reality leaders. There's a community of about 10 to 15,000 of us around the world who are, at the moment, we're growing every day. There's there's rounds of training. So climate, the Climate Reality Project is a project that is um, chaired by um, former Vice President Al Gore. It's all about teaching people and training people and bringing community together to have climate conversations, to go out and do exactly what we're doing here, which is fighting for the climate, leading on climate, and really taking climate action. So I urge you all to... Um, I urge you all to do something, to do anything that you can. We all do whatever we can. Um, and it's really important that we do not rest until we have a more secure future for us and for all our future generations. So um, there's lots of groups here. I just want to say thank you very much to all the groups. I haven't actually had a chance to figure out who's here. So if the groups can actually send me an email after this so that we can link to your team or your group of people or your organization, that would be really good because I'd really like to kind of just highlight that we are not alone. And if we all come together, how powerful, I mean, how amazing is this turnout? And this is a global day of solidarity. There are over 800 actions around the world and in 95 countries at last count maybe even more so we are not alone our brothers and sisters around the world are doing this with us and we are just ama I mean, it's amazing that we're here together so so a big round of applause to every one of you for coming here and doing and doing something the formalities to a conclusion, I'm going to ask everybody to move towards the front, um, just the four forecourt of the um, the Tate, you're going to be facing the museum so that Mike here can grab a photo of us with the love London skyline behind us, just to just to show people that we're in London, and this is the London Rise for Climate. Um, so if we could kind of slowly make our way there and, and do that, make sure your banners, make sure your